that bus doing here? Hey guys, so welcome to another video here. Uh, today we have a special visitor. This is the EV West uh, Porsche electric bus. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but if you haven't, well, it's time I make a video about it. This is a very special bus uh, because it's got, uh, it's a first, it's got one of the first Hyper 9 motors. And let's go take a look at it. So this was like a barn find and I think it was all crushed in and had suffered like a, you know, it was through an, an accident or something. And it had, you know, like most of these buses, has had a repaint job and you know you can see here that it's got some bondo and stuff and then you know they got new seats for it and they installed an electric motor uh they put new new wheels and i think they just went through all the suspensions and stuff you know it's a little bit rough on some of this stuff but this is pretty original yeah. With the battery. <laughs> okay, the battery is in this beauty. You want, you want this is a this is a different type of battery. Oh my god! With one, you open the both doors. That's you funny. like that? <laughs> you're missing can you, the. Can you, uh, oh my god! You're missing everything here. Oh, that's you know, terrible. It came out of the weeds. Yeah. What? Not even a year ago. Yeah. This is a this is a barn find. A very beautiful barn find. Yeah. That. We got 20 smart car modulars in here. In total, so 10 and 10? 10. 10 and 10. So that's 20. 20. So we're 200 miles range. Over 200 miles playing. range. Unless you got a heavy foot like most of us do. Yes. And look at that. So they have probably the... about 198 miles. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. So so you have, I think I have 8 and 8, 16. So I have 16. And I have some of them there and then some of them back here. So that's about the same thing, right? You're about ready to put under the seats though right oh dude yeah i'll show them to you right now outside uh my dogs are gonna go crazy but <laughs> so you just turn off this you know the deal and then you're done but look at that this is pretty clean so this was like um no nonsense job here they're like there's room inside let's just put the boxes there we got it it's our delivery truck for the shop yeah go do it whatever yeah, so they, they don't need to, yeah, you don't need to over-engineer where the batteries go. Just nope. put them there. Because this is a pretty turn, like, Simple turn, turn around. Yeah. It was pretty quickly on this guy, right? What was that, like two months? Yeah. Every, but then, but it has to be like, you have to fix the car because it was literally rotten oh, clean up in the bar. crunched in nose. Yeah. The worst part was down here along the door line. Yeah. That's it. Otherwise, they had a really good paint. Yeah, this is a holy vehicle. Heavenly holy. <laughs> that was Let's go look at the motor, because the motor is the stuff that's exciting. Let's get that church key. Uh oh. Gotta go to the church and show <laughs> the little motor hyper nine. Oh, it does sound like it'd be it did. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. The new hyper nine. That is the very first hyper nine. This was the, nine. Was the uh, prototype that we've got to experiment with. Nice. Listen to that beautiful hum. It's uh, five kilowatts of charging power. In fact, let, let's show them the, how much it's pulling off of the wall. Here, so smart meter. Here we go, 6.9. So it's almost pulling off right now? Kilowatts. Yeah, so five is that, and then like 1.9 in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the Hyper 9. So here's the thing about this Hyper 9. The difference between this and my motor is that this is a uh, permanent magnet motor, essentially. It's, uh, the technical name is, uh, reluctant something right i don't know why this motor is reluctant but <laughs> but it's got a permanent magnets it's reluctant to be called a dc motor oh oh that's right you know? so so that's the only difference the core the rotor has permanent magnets where mine doesn't so it mine induces Induced, the magnetic yes. field into the rotor this one has already magnetic fields in there so the result of that is that it's a little bit noisier and it cogs it's a little coggy so which means that each field you feel it there's a reluctance to move from each field yes. right and so uh at the lower rpms it's a little bit noisier but yeah feel it. yes but the advantage of it is that at the higher 
RPMs, it's a lot more uh, efficient. So this motor will give you more power, more torque for the same amount of power, and it'll waste less uh, energy in the long run. So this this little motor is it's better. Good. Yeah, once you're moving, you know, if you can get, if you can, if you, if the little extra noise doesn't bother you and the little cogging, you know. This motor is a lot better than mine. It's You're this exactly right. kind of smaller. It, it's not a lot of smaller, but it it's is. It's heavier. It's heavier than when I move them around, get rid of push oh, and stuff. This one probably weighs about 20 pounds more than really? the HPVS is. When I go pick it up, I'm like, okay, that's, that's some weight. That's a Hyper 9. That's not more a... push ups to actually move this with these. <laughs> Really? <laughs> and, but look at the, the control, the too. Control it's just the tiny. And the reason is because it's the same power output. It's probably less than than the Curtis, right? This is like 80 kilowatt. When you look at this thing, it like says that, probably this is a continuous rating, so it's 30, 38 kilowatts. But the voltage 65, which we're running about 126 volts on this one. Uh, top, right, 111 uh, nominal, 7,500 RPMs. So when you look at the specs, it doesn't seem like it would be a stronger motor, you know? Uh, what were they saying, 30% more efficient? Yeah. Okay. Now, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what Michael was saying. Yeah, yeah. so it's more efficient, and you can see that, you know, the controller doesn't have to be as big. It's a smaller, it's probably like, you know, more modern, more modern electronics, you know. That <laughs> For the first time last week, I felt comfortable running the harnesses. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. I feel, I feel comfortable enough knowing I could probably put one together now. That's yeah. In turn, I feel like I can put a whole car together now. Oh, yeah? Nice. Well, hey. It's uh yeah they're not they're not that, that state. they're it's, not yeah, that hard. It's not as hard as you think it is no. out there. Especially I'm not very smart. I'm more of a trade sh or a shade tree mechanic. Shade tree mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't know. They don't know, they but don't they know. will. They so. will know. They, you guys will get that reference soon. Yeah. Uh, it's all in the discovery. It's all, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now that we've seen the motor, now that we've seen the uh, okay. let's see what is the technical. Term. term of this mode it has it Let's on there permanent magnetic synchronous reluctance ac synchronous so reluctance. permanent magnet synchronous reluctance ac mm -hmm. there we go that That's is a tongue term. twister and as an intern is a really big tongue <laughs> twister but you know what <laughs> you all can do the same thing that i'm trying to do yes synchronous reluctance look at that 173 pounds Foot, yeah. Torque rated, 120 horsepower. I think it's 120 horsepower. Wow. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Even more. But... That's pretty crazy. All right, Ian. Let's take a ride let's on the it. Porsche yeah. electric Porsche. bus. Oh, we're all going. We're all, we're all right. going. Okay. Let's get up in this mix. <laughs> all right. Wait. Do you, do you guys hear that? There's a little bit of cogging. You hear that little hum? That's usually not on my bus, mine. Oh, you really hear it right there. It sounds like a starship already take off into warp. It does, it does <laughs> sound like the Jetsons. It's actually. Should we go left cool. or right? Um. Oh, look at that. There's nothing better than. Uh, Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Put it over there, like behind, like next to that door, the 170. One, 170, yeah. And you're gonna rattle the rust. Don't rattle the rust. Oh, it's gonna burn some rubber. <laughs> That's some noise right there. Yeah, you see, it's quiet. The noise is <laughs> what happened? It didn't even take off. I thought I was gonna like light them up. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's why. <laughs> like, why is it not? It would help if it just didn't have the, uh, the handbrake on. I'm surprised it moved. No. Come on, white handle, do your thing. It's your. Uh, that's reverse and forward. Oop, I just went reverse. If you want to like really step on the brakes, it just... Hey, it does not do that. Oh, it's it's got to be stopped. It's a smart one. Yes.
guys I'm gonna have to go all right thank you for the tour and the ride thank you brother for safe travels down to San Diego